Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monk, and in this video I'm going to give you 5 tips to make your first game in 2019. Let's begin! Tip number 1. Keep your scope small. This is the most important tip. Design something you can make in a month and then cut it in half. Most people make the mistake of thinking too big and wanting to make something like GTA or Skyrim or a massive MMO for their first game and eventually end up with nothing. And when I say most people, I mean me as well. When I first started developing Flash games, I decided my third game would be an open world MMO about cops and robbers. Obviously, after three months of development and realizing I didn't have the skills to pull it off, I cancelled that project. So all of this to say that if you fall into this trap, don't feel too bad since it happens to everyone, but do try to avoid it. So think of the simplest game you can do and then make it even simpler. If you are a complete beginner, then I would suggest you start off making a clone of a classic game. So do a clone of Space Invaders or Pac-Man or Arkanoid. Starting with a clone makes it easier to become familiar with the tools of the engine you choose whilst not having to spend too long thinking about the game design. Then when you do have a clone completed, you can expand upon it. For example, if you made a clone of Space Invaders, think of what new weapon types would fit into the game, what different enemy types would make the game more engaging, or what different game modes you could add. Tip number 2. Know your strengths. It's important to know what you're good at when deciding what you want to create. So if your strong point is art, then you should try making an action or an adventure game. Go for something that is mechanically simple to implement, like a platformer or a point and click, and make your art really stand out. On the other hand, if your strong point is programming, then maybe try doing a simple simulation or strategy game with a very simple art style. Something with interesting systems or involving multiple simple units while keeping the art as minimalist as possible. Improving on your weak points is certainly a good thing, but if the goal is to take a project from start to finish, then make sure you focus on your strengths. Tip number 3. Look for help. If there's a mechanic you really want to make but have no idea how to do it, go look for an answer. Learning how to Google effectively is one of the best skills you can have as a game developer. There are lots of tutorials on the internet and on YouTube that will teach you anything you need to know as long as you know what to search for. So if you do get stuck on a problem, instead of banging your head against it, go look online for someone who might have solved it before. Chances are you will find an answer for your problem. Tip number 4. Be consistent. Creating a game is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes many hours to create a compelling interactive system where all the pieces come together into a great experience. Don't go too fast and burn yourself out. And don't assume you can get it all done in just 3 days. Instead, take it slow, make it part of your routine, and every day move one step closer to your goal. It is much easier to keep going little by little each day than it is to burn out and drop everything for a week and then try to come back to it. Keep a to-do list of all the tasks and features that need to be implemented so when it's time to work, you know exactly what you're going to do. And finally, tip number 5. Be happy with what you made. If you go through the process of making a game from start to finish, be happy with what you have created. Most people start and give up in the middle, so just by making it to the end, you will be better off than most. Your first game will certainly not be a masterpiece, so don't be upset if it doesn't match with the games you're used to playing. Making games is a skill and very much dependent on experience. The more games you make, the better they will be. The more times you go through the process of start to finish, the better you'll become at understanding what works and what doesn't. You'll learn how to make your game design more engaging, your characters better drawn and animated, and your code cleaner and more efficient. Remember, each game is a marathon and your skills as a game developer are a marathon of multiple marathons. So again, out of all of these, the most important one is keep your scope small. You will gain 10 times more knowledge and experience by going through the entire process from start to finish rather than starting something and leaving it halfway. Making a game involves many unique elements all coming together into one final product. So if you're just doing prototype after prototype, you'll never actually learn how to deal with things like player progression, game flow, level balancing, game juice, or even things like doing a main menu, intro, or saving and loading. Those are all part of the process of making a complete game. So there you have it, 5 tips for helping you make your first game in 2019. Now go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.